very unusual play. Watch this ball bounce and hang in fair territory right up above the plate. Henrik says no play at first. And here's his only play as he makes the tag. <laughs> tag, you're it. When it comes to the types of commands that we have in Bedrock Edition, few are as simple as the tag command. However, according to a recent poll I did, some of you are still struggling with this command. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating basically how you use the tag command, and I'll kind of explain how you guys are going to want to use it. It really isn't that complicated, so this should be a pretty short video. Uh, before we get started, this is a little command that I have running in the background. This is why none of the creepers will be moving as I'm doing my demonstration. Okay, so to get started, first command we have here is a tag command. We're going to add the tag it to creeper. Now we have C equals one. That means it's only going to add it to the closest creeper. So if I spawn this creeper in, I'm going to give it a tag. You'll see it added the tag right here. Now, as you can see, that did absolutely nothing because the tag command does absolutely nothing on its own. However, it's still incredibly useful when you combine it with other commands. Just to give you a little example of how it can be used, we have a kill command right here. It's going to kill anything with the tag it. So whenever I hit it, creeper dies. Now, you can kind of see a little bit more of where it's useful for. So I'm going to add the tag to this creeper because it's the closest one. This is the one that's going to get the tag. This one won't have the tag. So when I press this button, only that creeper died. You can also see if I press this twice, even though there's two creepers, this one's the closest one for both of them. And you're going to see we get a little message right here that says the target already has the tag or has too many tags, which we're going to ignore that second part. And you can see when I kill it, it's only going to kill this one. Now, if I press it again, this one is the closest creeper. So it has the tag. When I kill it, boom, it's going to kill it. Now, the other thing the tag command can do is it can remove tags. It's exactly the same thing, except instead of add, we have remove right here. And basically, if I add the tag to this creeper, and then remove it. Whenever I hit this kill button, nothing's going to happen. But if I add it back, boom. Now in this example, I'm using the tag it because you know, tag, you're it. However, it's really important that this can be any word or combination of letters. Capitalization is going to matter though, so be aware of that. But basically you can make this anything you want. You can have as many tags in your world, in your commands, as you want, and you can use them for a lot of different things. How do you use them? Well, here's a great example that we have right here. So this is a tag command. It's going to add it. It's exactly the same as the first command, except for this little piece right here, where tag equals, and then we have an exclamation point. The exclamation point means not, and then we have it. So because we have the exclamation point here, it's going to add the tag to anything that doesn't have the tag it already. Since we are only adding it to something that doesn't already have the tag, when I do the example I did earlier, where I had two of them, the first time I press this, it's going to only give the tag to the closest one. Boom. If I spawn a new one in, and now I press it twice, you can see we get a little different message down here. And when I hit kill, boom, it kills both of them. So basically you use the tag command in conjunction with other commands in order to basically store information on an entity. And this is how we use it. You basically just, in this little entity thing, you have the at and an E or A or whatever it is. And you have the brackets, you do tag, and then you can either do the tag or you can put an exclamation point in front of it. That's going to mean not. So it's going to do anything that doesn't already have that tag on it. Like I said, the whole point of tag is you want to store information on an entity. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. The tag command doesn't do anything on its own. You got to use it with other commands, but it is incredibly useful for storing information. 
Now in a future video I'm going to be covering scoreboards, which work pretty similar but they're a little more useful than tags, but they're a little more cumbersome to use. If you understand tags though, it's a lot easier to understand scoreboards, which is why if you guys haven't used tags before, I highly recommend you go through and experiment using the tags. Just you can do a little setup like this, kind of mess around, do whatever you want. Get used to the tags because it's going to make learning scoreboards a lot easier if you understand how tags work. All right, if you guys have any questions or need any help, try and, and join my Discord or leave a comment. I do my best to respond to a lot of the comments, but it's much easier if you guys uh, join my Discord. The link will be in the description. I have an idea you'd like to see me try and make with commands, maybe make into a tutorial video of its very own. Let me know in the comments and maybe, just maybe, I'll make your idea into a future video. Have the tag it already. Uh. Jarvis, get the burp sound, reverb, and bass boost it.